Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech review back with another video. Today's video, yes, I've been using the Pixel 6 for about two weeks now, and I just want to give you an update on my experience. But before I get into this video, check this out. Okay everyone, so I've been using the Pixel 6 for about two weeks now, and I just wanna give you an update on my experience with the device. There's some things I don't like about the phone, and there's some things that are really great about it, and I just wanna give y'all an update. But check out the Pixel 6 Panda version. Look at that. Look at that, look at that camera, camera array. But let's go over the things I don't like about it first. And then we can get into some of the things I do. If you have the Pixel 6 or the 6 Pro, let me know in the comments. Let's get a friendly discussion. If you're waiting for it, also let me know. The first con, just like the opening or the 72 later video, is the fingerprint scanner. It is just a little slow compared to like the OnePlus, I mean the OnePlus 9 Pro, my S21 Ultra. Now, I can get it open pretty quick if I hit the spot though. And it, I mean, it works, don't get me wrong. You just have to hold it there a little bit longer than the other phones. But I mean, I, I got it pretty accurate right now. So, but just have one little bit. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I don't go on Twitter and, you know, talk about it or even make videos about it. It's just there. I can notice the difference. The only reason I notice the difference is because I have phones like this, the OnePlus 9 Pro or the S21 Ultra. If you just have this phone, you probably won't even notice it unless you listen to other folks complain about it. Also, not having face unlock, it just gives you another reason or another way of unlocking your phone if you're having problems with your fingerprint scanner. Again, I don't know if they can add it with an update. I guess time will tell, but that's one kind, you know, that I've been having with the phone. Does it work? Yes, it's just a little bit slow. I'm not, I'm gonna leave it like that. The next kind is not really a, say, Pixel 6 or 6 Pro con, it's more like an Android 12. But if you're trying to convert someone from Apple and this is the first time they're using Google and they pick up the 6 Pro or the 6, then they're gonna be like, oh man, this phone is whack because they don't know it's Android 12, not the phone itself. And the problems I have, it has bugs. I mean, sometimes Twitter looks a little, you know, janky when scrolling, which is not a big deal. But the main thing is the app crashes. It will, it will crash on YouTube Studio, also on ESPN and it will actually crash. If I try to like get an update, it crashes, it goes away. For whatever reason, it's not there. And then it will restart, you try to refresh, and it doesn't work. Sometimes even on my New Orleans app, it will start acting funny too, it won't update, it starts flashing, and it won't do it on the video. So yeah, that one's work, it's working pretty good. They might update it. I know Android 12 will get fixed, but when you're launching a phone, and a great phone that it is, you don't want these bugs on there. I have reported them to Google. They've been working with me, but an average consumer may not report the bugs. They might they might just return the phone, to be honest. You know, they may not know what they need to do and report it to Google. I have the patience, but will the Regular consumers sit there and wait for the app developers to fix it or Google to fix it. Who knows what problem it is, but those are just some of the things I notice on the phone. Also, if you look at my camera comparisons and also my camera test, the front cameras on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, the selfies are not as crisp as previous versions like the 5 
and the 5a i think they need to do a little bit more tweaking in the computer algorithms and get that a little bit better but it's not as crispy as you would think a pixel would do are they horrible or bad no now overall the cons are very minimum on this phone some people complain about battery life i can get through a day and a day and a half with it that's not really a con with me other people was talking about on facebook and twitter now people said twitter was really bad i don't see it maybe i don't scroll a hundred miles per hour on twitter trying to find that problem but and then also some other apps crashed on me which is you know it's android 12 i'm not to worry about it the other thing too is just the speakers on here they're good they're just average they're not as loud as you think they would be i think my 5a actually sounds louder and better they're not horrible they're just not i was just expecting more from the speakers so that was some of the cons that i'm dealing with on the pixel 6 and the 6 pro i'm gonna come back and give y'all updated on the pixel 6 pro also but this is just for the 6 but that was some cons i'm dealing with if y'all have some of the same issues let me know some people say their phone runs smooth i mean normally yeah look that's pretty smooth 90 hertz refresh not a problem couple apps i don't know i noticed espn my new orleans uh app and then also youtube studio which is not a big concern for you know if you're not a youtuber nobody really uses that app now let's move into some things i like and right there in front of you this 1080p OLED panel is great. It looks amazing. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's flat. Some people love that flat design. The overall build of this phone is amazing too. I love the black matte size here. And then you just debrand it up too. And you can make a Panda version of it. But the overall build of this phone is great. That display... 6.4 inch display is great too and then the overall build too this ain't a small phone i don't really like small phones so the, for me this is like a good size now the pro is even better though but this is not bad for a lot of people i really do like the size of the phone now also let's move it on the cameras on here, I talked about the selfie camera. It's a little weak, but the rear cameras on here, yes. Google nailed it with the cameras. This one does not have the telephoto lens. Understand that if you need the telephoto lens, get the 6 Pro. But the video and the photos that you can get on the rear cameras, they're really good. Can't wait till you can tweak it a little bit more and get this going. Now the Magic Eraser and the pan things, that's a hit and miss. Sometimes the erasers look good, sometimes they look like trash. I showed my daughter one day and she's like, Dad, that looks like trash, stop it. <laughs> it just depends on the situation and everything else. But as far as the photos, the, the portrait mode, the 4K at 60, everything looks great as far as the rear cameras go. Now using the phone as an everyday phone, making phone calls, texting, you know, messaging on here, speaker phone, sounds great. They can hear me, no problems with that. So if you're just going to use your phone as a phone, you won't have a problem either. Battery life, I can get through a day without charging the battery, what the 46, I think it's 46, 14 milliamp hour battery. I don't have a problem with it. It actually works really good. The Tensor chip on here, again, you can game on this phone without a problem. You don't really have any type of hiccups besides Android 12 hiccup. Also, I noticed something too. The phone does get a little bit hot if you keep on using it, maybe watching videos on it. It does warm up a little bit, but not too bad. This one doesn't warm up as much as the 6 Pro does. Now, a lot of people always ask me, which one is better? Which one should you get? Again, that's all up to you, but for $599, I don't think you can go wrong with with this phone you get a lot you get the new chip you get good great cameras in the back the front camera i think could definitely use some work but it will it will work itself out android 12 could definitely use some work but battery life is good that display is beautiful the flat screen is beautiful you don't have to worry about curves the speakers are okay so overall yes it's a great phone do your homework i can't tell you which one to choose yet because i haven't had the phones long enough if you're looking for the value and you want to save the 300 bucks then the pixel 6 is probably the phone you want to go with and if you don't need the telephoto lens then yes even more of a better choice for you but do your homework y'all let me know what y'all think about it do you agree or disagree with my cons and my pros y'all let me know let's get a friendly discussion going 
again it is a beautiful phone even with the panda version on there it's definitely a beautiful phone i'm enjoying it stay tuned to the channel i'm gonna have more videos coming up on the 6 pro and the 6 i love covering these phones it's kind of a hobby you know a little bit just maybe a little bit also if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet make sure you do so for more coverage on the pixel 6 also make sure you follow me on twitter at Forbes reviews become part of the bam nation and until next time peace i'm out you have a great day and bam by the way